Hey, everybody, it's the coach. You're tuned in to Sunday Night Football on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one, between the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and the Miami Dolphins. With that, let's get down to Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Standing by for the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Coach. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. The excitement brewing here in South Florida. As a moment ago, the Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. And they're fired up as well as they get set to match up with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Welcome again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and yes, the rain is falling now, and it is supposed to continue to fall throughout this game. So how do you think that will impact this contest? Well, first and foremost, both quarterbacks are going to make sure the officials have those dry footballs coming in each and every play and standing over them sometimes with a towel before the center gets up there to snap it. Second thing is the focus of all the guys who handle the football. Do they wear gloves? Do they take them off? Will they carry the ball high and tight to make sure they have good ball security? That's paramount in a game like this. Caleb Sturgis now to do the honors and get us started. And we are underway from Miami. On the return, it's Ryan Smith. <laughs> and he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So out come the Bucks now for their first drive. And they're led out by a guy who's done just about everything you could ever imagine to do in this league, the great Tom Brady. It's been a lot of fun watching him develop in his career, but that will to win, he's had that probably since birth, and it transmits itself throughout his entire ball club. Watching him play, it can be an absolute joy unless you're on the other team. on first down is Brady. Looking middle, it's caught by Gronkowski. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. A gain of six there on first. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. Throwing is Brady on third down. And this is going to be caught. He won the fight for the football. It's a gain of seven, and that'll bring up fourth down. There's an example of good situational football being played by a defense. They understood where the third down play was the down and distance, and made sure that they didn't get anywhere near that, bringing up fourth down. Yeah, they were sniffing out that marker, didn't want to let him get close to there, and now a likely three and out to start. Yeah, I love the way they rallied to the football and got to him and made sure he didn't give up much run after catch. Anger is on to punt, and he gets this one away. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. Under center, it'll be the former UCLA Bruin, Josh Rosen. It's easy to see the big-time arm. It's also easy to see the pinpoint accuracy and delivery. But how about his footwork as well? An amateur tennis player, that honed what he can do in the pocket, his ability to slide and move away from pressure and be able to find receivers open downfield. Hey, 
Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away at second down. A look now at the Miami offense. I always find it interesting that when we have conversations about the best wide receivers in the NFL, it's not often that Jarvis Landry's name rolls out right in the first group. But when you evaluate what he does overall, his body of work, his ability to break down defenses once he catches the ball and gets downfield and people bounce off of him, then you realize he's one of the top guys out there. Now it's the Boise State alum, Jay Ajayi. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Set! Green, 39! Green, 39! Ah! On third down, Rosen. And this is going to be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. The Dolphins will send out the punter now. Adam Humphreys deep for Tampa Bay. Fair catch signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt, and the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. The last couple of drives have ended in punts. Maybe the crowd minds that, but you're a defensive guy. You're okay with a couple of punt drives. Listen, I'm the guy that loves a 0-0 pitch game All right, in baseball. I can handle that going into the seventh inning. I think the crowd, though, they want to see a little bit more excitement. Let's see if someone can break something free on offense and get going. Offense at a premium the last two drives. A first carry for Leonard Fournette. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. And yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times. And they operate as a terrific unit. Now Brady throwing on second down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Unable to get it to Gronkowski that time. And now it's third down. And a look at the starters for the Miami defense. Versatile players on defense are all the rage in the NFL, but it also helps to have a Benardrick McKinney who does one thing very, very well, and that's tackle ball carriers. Big man. Big size inside. Looks like a defensive end playing inside linebacker. Still has the ability to run and cut runners off before they can get downfield. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. On third down, Brady. A dump off to Sims. It'll be a three-yard gain, and that's going to make it fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we 